looking like it's going to be a rainy one today. Got the main light on at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> what was going on? What? Yeah, it has rain. I don't put Welcome. Porridge for tea with Biscoff, of course. Are we ready? Yes. After a very rainy school run, it looks like the sun's trying to come through now. I'm just about to go upstairs and pop some makeup on to make myself feel a bit better. I don't know what to do about my hair. I've given up on my hair recently. It's hit that stage. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop you on top of the toaster, on top of a bowl, hit that stage where my hair needs a cut and it's, just it's just feeling a bit meh and it's too heavy on the bottoms to hold any any style i got my period this morning and i'm not feeling good i have the worst stomach cramps this month and i i feel like i look how i feel today so i'm going to stick some makeup on in a bit to make me feel a bit better and actually i thought because i'm not feeling great i'm not going anywhere today um, not much is happening other than editing. I have a lot of editing to do over the next couple of days and I always try and not need to do lots of editing on vlogging days. Sometimes these things cross over. I thought today would be the perfect day to do a q and I'm going to go onto Instagram and ask you guys to send in your questions, anything you would like to know. For some reason I thought I had done a q and a last vlogtober and last vlogmas but when, I, but when i looked back on my channel it was actually two years ago not a year ago so i'm going to pop on instagram now doing a q and a um ask me anything yeah hopefully i'll have some questions to answer later and we can sit down and we can have a good old chat you know how tempting it is just to chop off this bit of hair <laughs> i just want to chop it off i've got a hair appointment but it's not until the 22nd of November and I'm really hoping he can squeeze me in before then. Usually he'll get the odd cancellation and they'll be able to, I'm, not, I'm just waiting for a call from them to say, oh, someone's cancelled, can you come in on this day? So hopefully I can get, get to the hairdresser sooner. Before I head upstairs, get myself sorted, get on with editing, I'm going to quickly talk about the sponsor for today's vlog. So Ritual have sponsored the vlog. I have been trying out their supplements recently. I have been taking the Ritual Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus and I've also been taking the Symbiotic Plus which is a prebiotic, probiotic and postbiotic. I didn't even know postbiotic was a thing and it's clinically studied prebiotics, probiotics and postbiotics help support a balanced gut microbiome. They're vegan friendly and formulated without GMOs, major allergens, animal products or artificial colours and their Symbiotic Plus is also made traceable showing you every labelled ingredient, supplier and key studies that go into their products. And the thing I love about these vitamins is that for me anyway I feel like they have the key vitamins in them, the ones that help support my body absorb there may be readily, the more readily available vitamins that I'm already having in my day to day. But for me, this just has the key ones to help support my day to day life. I'm getting on really well with both of these. I'm almost about halfway through my second bottles. Both of these supplements are essence with mint. They're the coolest looking capsules. You don't get that generic vitamin E aftertaste if you like the look of them and you'd like to try them out yourself be it the multivitamin be it the symbiotic plus or any of their other products i will leave my link in the description and that will get you 20 percent off your first month i'll be honest i've been contacted by quite a few supplement brands in the past and i often decline because they're just not quite they're just not quite for me i did ignore rituals emails for a while um, until I'd seen more about them online, I actually thought, hmm, I like, I like the look of them. 
so I did some research and thought yeah actually I want to I want to try them out but yeah anyway, like I said my link and everything will be in the description if you want to give them a go many good questions I don't know how I'm going to answer well I'm not going to be able to answer them all but I will do my best this jumper always tends to make an appearance this time of year I can't remember if I bought this last year or the year before last got it on with my dungarees which looks a little silly but there's no way I'm putting on jeans today got my hot water bottle because my tummy hurts I'm gonna go through these and pick at random this is an easy one to start on how tall are you and how old are you I am five or four, almost five five, I'm just under five five, and I'm 29 years old, soon to be 30. Favourite Harry Styles song? Off his new album or all the albums? Let's go with new album because even then I'm going to struggle to pick one. I think one that's underrated or that I've not heard many people say is their favourite is Satellite. I really like Satellite. It reminds me of My Future by Billie Eilish because it has that switch in tempo of like enjoying the song, enjoying the song and then it changes and you're like oh yeah this is a bop. <laughs> but if I'm going to pick one or two satellites in the cinema but I like them all. How are you so beautiful? Can we guess who that's from? <laughs> I, if you're wondering that's from Doug. Is Delilah more of a mini version of you or Doug? I feel like that's a question that Doug could answer. He picks up on things that Delilah and I do that are very similar that I don't even realise we're doing. But even you guys do actually, you'll pick up on an expression of Delilah's and say that is so you. I forgot to say I'll link the other two m more recent Q&As that I did, well I say I say recent, did them a couple of years ago but they're my most recent Q&As I've done and I answered a lot of questions that I've had repeated today. That being said, I can't remember everything I've ever answered in Q&As so I might repeat myself. How is your driving going? Well, I took my first driving test earlier on in the year back in March. I didn't pass but to be fair I hadn't had much experience, I hadn't had that many lessons, I failed on a really, like everyone does, failed on a really silly Silly mistake, barely got any minors and was really annoyed with myself. If any of you have been trying to book a test, then you'll know how awkward they make it. Finally, after months of looking, I managed to book a test for next year. So I've got a little bit of, well, I've got quite a bit of time to get back in our car, get practicing, get used to, get used to driving again. <laughs> Doug's home. I think Doug's going to be home a bit earlier from work this week. CJ's just dropped him off in the work van. Yeah, so long story short, I do have another test booked. It's not until next year. Would you take up knitting to create your own cosy jumpers? I would love to. It's, it, it's crossed my mind on many occasions. You know what, I've, I've tried to teach myself to knit so many times, but I've never had the patience for it. Hi. This one's an easy one. How long have you and Douglas been together? Ten years. Ten years. Did you find you and Doug bickered more after Delilah? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think people I think people are under the impression that we just don't bicker. And we do. Mm. Everyone bickers. Quite a few people asked if we were still engaged. <laughs> probably because yeah. I never wear my ring. Yeah. I do wear I just forget sometimes. Because I don't sleep with it on and then sometimes I just 
especially if I go to work out, I don't put it on, do it. And another big question is, wedding plans, have we set a date? Are we still getting married? Well, we're going to put the plan, but not next year, the year after, 2024. Yes. We need to put the venue. Yeah, so we have the venue and the year, we just need to book it, but I'm, I just, yeah, I feel a bit stuck, don't I, with, I don't really know what to I don't know if I'm having stuff done with my possibly possibly having braces and jaw stuff done and that's a whole other a whole other vlog. But yeah, I don't really want to be doing all of that and then have a, a wedding in between that. So I feel like I need to get married before or after. What are you gonna do? This is not ideal really. Then CJ. Mm -hmm. Get home for me. Me being here. In, in time play a couple of games on football. Oh I'm sorry. And then <laughs> back to the questions. Do you think it would be too late? For someone to start YouTube now? Yes and no. It feels like yes it would be quite hard to start YouTube now because there were so many people on the platform but that being said I massively think especially on Instagram I think they favour newer people on there. It might actually not be too late to start. There's plenty of people that have got millions of followers who only started a couple of years ago. I don't know if that really answers your question. No, I don't think it is too late. I think if you really want to, it's definitely worth the shot. What's your favourite perfume to wear on a daily basis? I don't wear perfume anymore. I used to wear, I don't think, I've never worn it daily, but I did used to wear perfume up until a few years ago and I just don't like wearing perfume anymore. Even just a tiny little spritz and I found it too overwhelming. I didn't like having it on on me or on my clothes. I just wanted to wash myself as soon as I had it on. It was just suddenly wearing perfumes just became too much for me. Um, I still love my candles. I still love smelly things. I still love my bath bombs, bubble bars, but perfume I just can't do anymore. If you had an unlimited interiors budget, what would you do to your home? Sometimes I think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to for it to be like we were on the sims and we could rosebud <laughs> or swipe through the catalogue and just try things out in your home i would love to completely not completely gut the place but i would love to have this is really boring i'd love to have all the door frames and the the woodwork just everything door frames doors woodwork all ripped out and renewed they're past the point of having them sanded down they've got so many chips and dents and bumps in them yeah because all the woodwork is quite tatty and um, it would make, it would just make everything look nicer. We'd have new carpet put in up the stairs and in Delilah's room in the hallway where you would extend into the attic. I think you'd, you'd lose my office, but you'd have two new rooms upstairs. One of them could be office slash spare room and then another spare room. We'd have a bathroom. See, we have thought about this. It's not something that's going to happen anytime soon, but it is something we've spoken about before. We'd have a bath upstairs and nice big bathroom upstairs and then we'd take out the bath in our current bathroom and just have a shower in there and merge the and just make a room that has the loo and the shower in rather than two separate rooms we'd then have a nice big hallway which we could have uh, an airing cupboard in or a linen cupboard in which would be the dream i would extend a little bit out from the kitchen and have a laundry room as we're talking unlimited budget i would get someone to come in and design the garden and have all of that redone. There's lots of carpentry that I would have done around the house. I would have a new kitchen, new bathroom. There's a lot, loads of things, there's loads of things. Alas, we don't have unlimited budget and we're very happy with our home. And these things take time and we've kind of put our money into doing the small things that make a difference to us. So we, we, we may have been able to save for a new kitchen or a new bathroom, but actually our kitchen is fine how it is it's not how we would choose to have it but it's fine and actually i'd rather put money into getting like those shelves that we have above the tv put in and the under stair storage done and little things like that what are your moon and rising signs i will have to look up birthday december 92 i'm a sagittarius which I already knew. Oh, oh my goodness, this looks complicated. Okay, so we 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 have it's saying zodiac Sagittarius, rising Sagittarius, Moon, Scorpio, and then there's loads of other planets and, and houses. Yeah, apparently Moon is Scorpio and then my other signs are Sagittarius. 
I don't know what that means. Um, but there you go. Most loved worn staple winter jumper. Well, no, actually, no, it's not a hard one because the one that I live in, and not just for the winter, but all year round, as most of you have probably guessed, is the jumper that I was wearing this morning, which is my men's Arquette navy knitted jumper. All my other jumpers, are, I feel like I've probably worn around the same amount of time. So yeah, really boring answer. My most basic jumper, but yeah, my navy one that I was wearing this, I was wearing this morning, which I think Ar Arquette still do. Your next book. Hmm. I think it's going to end up being one of these three. I had Freckles delivered the other day. I pre-ordered it in the paperback version quite a long time ago. Or it might be one of these two, but it will just be whatever book takes my fancy um, when I need to find a new one to read. What's currently on your wardrobe wish list? I feel like I'm forever on the hunt for a good Sherlin jacket. Um, they're really hard, it's really hard to find a good quality one and one in the style that I would like. I've tried tried one I've tried one from anthropology recently I've been searching high and low and I just can't find one I can't find one that's affordable that I like so yeah that's that's sort of year after year that's on my wish list I mean something that's been on my wish list for a long time is a good pair of cream jeans as it's so hard to find jeans that fit well I love my Levi ribcage jeans but I would like a slightly different style of classic blue jean. I'm now running out of battery. I'm gonna run upstairs and get another battery. Change over. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any other specific clothes. I would like some more scarves. I love my red one. It'd be nice to have a couple of others. Um, I've got my eye on a stripy one. Do you still have your septum piercing? No, I don't have my septum piercing anymore. The septum piercing is the one that goes between your nose here. You may not know that um, from about the age of 18, I kind of I had loads of, I kind of went through a stage of having tattoos and a fair few piercings, and I now just have my nose ring and, well, I have one that's still in my ear up here, um, but the rest I had all taken out. Where is your calendar from in your kitchen? Funny you should ask that because earlier this morning I messaged the uh, the artist that I uh, buy the cat the calendars. For. Right, should we start? <laughs> Try that again. Only this morning I was messaging the artist who sells the calendars on Instagram because I tried to find it on her website and um, it wasn't there and so I messaged her to ask her if she was going to do a 2023 calendar to which she said yes she is, they are going to be released at the end of this month. So it's from a shop called Hand and Palm. She does some really cool prints and cards and wrapping paper and bags and clothes. Favourite book? I can't pick just one but I can tell you a few. This is where I leave you, half a world away, one day, where the crawdads sing, my policeman, Betty, and small pleasures. My track record the last few days with dropping things. Little one is home. I didn't see you there. I thought you were working. <laughs> no, I'm in here, Gordia. It's a good day at school. Yeah. I just realised I don't think I fully answered the question about knitting my own jumpers earlier. Yes, I would love to. It's actually something I've been looking into. So I've been looking at videos on Skillshare and YouTube. My problem is I don't have the patience to learn. I want to run before I can walk. I've always been like it. I remember my mum buying me a guitar because I wanted to learn how to play guitar. And instead of just learning the basics, I wanted to go straight in and be able to play to know, Paramore or whatever I wanted to play back then. And um, I, I want to be able to knit a jumper straight away. When in reality, I, I, I need to know the basics. But there are some amazing jumper patterns online and um, I would love to be able to make my own jumpers. Mummy, yeah. put this hand on my back. Uh-huh. Hold my hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's my cue to finish the q and I feel like there's so many questions I still didn't get to answer. I'm not 100% sure I answered anything very well. I love answering your questions. I just have no energy today. I did get a lot of questions 
asking how I am, am I okay, how's my anxiety, how do I deal with overthinking, lots of mental health questions. It's hard, it's a hard one because I have, I've struggled with my mental health and my fair share of mental illnesses for I know, a good part of 20 plus years now. I've openly spoken about my anxiety and my overthinking and my perfectionism and a bit about my depression but I've not spoken about anything else. Not just this year that I found hard, I just it's constantly it's something I, I, I deal with every day. When I say I don't know how I deal with it. If someone asked me with them the question of how do you deal with over overthinking I don't, not very well, I don't know, I've just, I say I'm used to it, but at the same time, I'm just tired of my brain, I just, sometimes I just need, I feel like I need a break from my brain, yeah, I don't know, I'm just sort of, I'm just getting by day by day like I have done for years, what you see in the vlogs is me, and it is, it's, I'm not faking anything, there's a common misunderstanding with depression from both people with it not realizing they have it because they think oh well i was happy and smiling yesterday or i or i laughed at this thing on tv i can't be depressed and also from people who don't have it and are looking at it from an outsider's perspective there's a common misconception that you can't be depressed if you smile or you laugh or you have a moment of feeling content and actually you can feel all the emotions and still be depressed you can go about life having happy moments and doing nice things and still be depressed and actually that's something that i didn't realize until kind of my mid-20s it doesn't always represent itself in being unable to get out of bed or crying all the time it certainly does um show up like that but it, it's complicated like everything is our brains are so complicated i probably to be honest i've i've been on and off depressed for best part of maybe 12 years had anxiety since i was about delilah's age and yeah so for me it's something that i'm kind of used to i mean it's getting worse <laughs> but i'm kind of used to it i don't really have advice because it's just it's something that i'm trying to not fix and I've kind of learned to live with it but I would also love to work on it I'm I don't know I'm just I'm just out here I'm trying my best I've had a lot of questions about it and I don't know how to answer it I don't want to go into it too much um because I've been talking for so long already and I also don't want anyone I'm not not looking for sympathy or emotionally and emotionally and mentally I don't feel the most stable <laughs> you know you see me happy and smiling in the vlogs because I I kind of am, I'm, I'm happy with my life and the people around me and Doug and Delilah and the opportunities we get and it's a funny one to try and explain. I'm in constant battle with my brain at the same time. I think I'm a happy person but I'm just dealing with an unhappy brain, if that makes sense. I don't know where I'm going with this. Thank you for sticking, st sticking with me. If you're still watching this, thank you. I don't know if my ramblings then are particularly helpful well not really because those of you who asked how i deal with anxiety and, and over overthinking that hasn't answered your question at all because i feel like i don't i'm always here to talk i mean i might not be able to get back to people but i here and there i am able here and there i do have chats with some of you on instagram and you know i'm here if you need to let things out even if i don't see your message even just feel 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 free to write me a message just to get it out if you just feel like you need to share it with someone who isn't in your immediate circle i'm i'm just you know i'm just on instagram or i'm just on here i think it's definitely time i wrap this up if i lay down any longer on this hot water bottle i'm going to fall asleep it's just a few hours later i've done that thing <laughs> where i've been so engrossed in editing I've not realised it's got dark and I'm now sat here in complete darkness minus my computer screen which is probably terrible for me but I have done the first rough edit of the last vlog and roughly edited some of this vlog.
been another few hours. I'm gonna end the vlog where I started it. I have not been myself today. Not my usual vlog, but I hope you still enjoyed it and the q and I am still hugging my water bottle. I will see you guys in a couple of days.